I'm Andrew Cowley from GeneStack, and in this video I'm going to give you a quick getting started guide to our Omics Data Manager. When you open Omics Data Manager, or ODM for short, you'll be faced with something that looks like this, the Study Browser. The Study Browser is a study-centric portal for finding studies, samples that are part of studies, and their associated metadata and experimental or signal data. The panel on the left-hand side gives you the option to search and filter the results. The main panel displays the results of your search and filter options, if you have any, or otherwise displays all studies that your user account has visibility of, ordered by date with the newest at the top. Looking at the main panel, we have several columns. The first column displays the name of the study, and you can click this to look at the study in more detail. We'll do that later. It also lists information about which user created or imported the study and the date. If you hover over the file icon, you can also see a small star. You can click this to bookmark a favourite study. And not only do you get the little visual indication of this, but you can also tick the only bookmarked option to quickly view your favourite studies. The next column shows the type of the study. If there is information about the general type of study, for example expression profiling by high throughput sequencing or RNA-seq of coding RNA from single cells, then it's displayed here. The third column is a summary of the metadata that is associated with the study. This displays information such as the organism, tissue, cell type, disease, and so on, and is pulled straight from the metadata fields of the samples in the study. You can hover over any name in the summary column, and the name of the metadata field where the data comes from will appear. So here I can hover over Homo sapiens, and it tells me it's come from the organism field. I can hover over dilated cardiomyopathy and it tells me that uh, this information comes from the disease metadata field. The next column tells us how many samples are present in each study. And the final column shows us what types of experimental signal data are present for each study. Here we've got expression, variant and flow cytometry signal types. Some studies have all three some only have one or two, or none. Let's look at the search and filter panel next. The full text search is a good place to start. Here, you can search by the name of the study, the accession of a study, sample or signal object, or by any text that's in any metadata field across all of the data you have visibility of. Let's try searching for the text dilated cardiomyopathy. As I begin typing, you can see that I'm offered autocomplete suggestions based on the dictionaries of terms that are present in ADM. So if I now selected dilated cardiomyopathy and press enter, my search is carried out and the results reflect this. These dictionaries are controlled vocabularies or ontologies, and they're one of the keys to making data in ADM fair, that is, findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. I'll talk more about that in another tutorial, but the main take home for now is that if you standardize terms for, say, disease, then searching with that disease name will bring back all of the studies of interest, rather than missing some because they were described slightly differently. Actually, using ontologies in search has some other advantages too. Our search is synonym aware. What that means is that sometimes several alternative terms might be used for the same thing. Human, for example, should really be described as Homo sapiens. So if I type human in the search box, the autocomplete suggests Homo sapiens as a preferred label of humans. Underneath the search box, we have filters for study ownership, so you can quickly filter down to say public data and filters for which signal types you wish to be present in your studies. 
Beneath that, we have further facets based on the metadata values that are present in ADM, grouped into study, samples, and then the individual signal types. For example, I could click Geo to show all studies that came, unsurprisingly, from the Geo repository. Exactly which metadata fields are available as search facets is determined by something called templates, which is also how we specify which metadata we expect to see for a given type of omics data, and which controlled vocabularies or ontologies should apply to that field. But more about that in another tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm interested in finding information about dilated cardiomyopathy, so I'm going to search for that again. Now, we've actually preloaded my version of ODM with some test data, so it might not look like this for you. But I've got one dummy study in my results called Investigation of the Role of RNA Binding Protein RBM20 in Dilated Cardiomyopathy. I can see a summary of the metadata values, and I can see that it has data in all three signal types, expression, variance, and flow cytometry. To investigate this further, I can click on the study title and that will be the subject of the next tutorial.